Hello everybody and welcome back to Bit Punch's playthrough of Going Under, Aggro Crabs Going Under. In the previous episode I was wrapping up some of the tasks that were assigned to me and I think I am ready to tackle Joplin. Um, I did notice this assist mode. Uh, so going under is meant to be a difficult game, but we also understand that every player is unique. If you feel that our game is inaccessible due to its difficulty, we hope that these options will allow you to enjoy it. So they'll actually give you up to five hearts and allow you to toggle weapon durability, invincibility, uh, and then lower some of the enemy health. I am going to leave things as the default, but I have no shame at all. Uh, if, if I don't make it too far in this pro this uh, part, I will go in and try to play with some of these. So let's, let's give it a shot. We'll leave it as is for now. Uh, but we're also here to have fun. And if this game is just too challenging, then then it's not going to be that fun. Let's look at my skills. I think I want to go back to using the big guy. Uh, hold on. Uh, here. Where things are a little bigger. Uh, I think it's this one. And then... <coughs> I think I'm going to switch to using Tappy. I want more money, which will allow me to buy more uh, weapons and health. And I want my weapons to be big. So we're gonna try, uh, we're gonna try this. Let's try a run and see, oh, we got something to turn into Swamp here. Get any new tasks for me, Swamp. Yeah, you can grab me a pizza. Just a normal pizza? Yeah, just the classic. Cheese, saucy bread, all that good stuff. Sounds like a nice change of pace. Most of these tasks seem to involve some kind of violence. Oh, did I forget to mention? I want you to steal this pizza from some demons. None of that surface world rubbish. Demon pizza just be hitting different. Of course, I'll get right on that swamp. In Winky Dink. I don't want to go to Winky Dink yet, though. Winky Dink is tough. Let's try Joblin. We're going in. The difficulty spikes 200%, it seems, from that first run to the second run. Or the like the second time you go through these. It is super challenging. Oh! See, I'm stuck on a wall and I lost a heart. if I take damage. Okay. I've actually never paid attention to that before. Wow, look at that. I've already lost almost half my hearts. This is different. Huh. Jitter. Oh, this must be a tappy thing. So I'm actually choosing what's going to be in my box. Um, I think I'm okay right now.
materialistic needs fulfilled. A vending machine gun? Come back here. Sure. Finish an in-floor combat without taking damage. Okay, good. Package delivered. Returning to base. All right, not a bad run so far. Just seeing if there's anything else I want to take with me. Okay, let's go. Floor two. That's a big boy. Pretty tough. Another task. It's time for your final test, kid. If you beat this one, you'll officially be a hella tight entrepreneur. Cool, just what I always wanted. Thus far, I've been stressing the importance of skills, but what happens when your skills are all taken away? You'll have to rely on your natural talent, that's what. I feel like I'm missing the metaphor here. Is there a metaphor here? Don't overthink it, Rockstar. Just get moving. Reach floor B4 with no skills. Holy cow. Okay. I just want to see how far I can make it with assists on. So let's like turn all this on. Higher weapon durability. I like that. It's almost like playing. Uh, what is it? Uh, I'm thinking of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Or uh, Contra or something like that. We're in the menu. It's like, do you want three, five, or seven lives? You can kind of choose. Even though it's still challenging. It gives you just a little bit more to work with. So let's see how we do here. I didn't give myself any extra hearts. 
Gate took a lot of damage. Yeah, I think at the beginning of this game, I was pretty happy with uh, this not being super challenging. Uh, and I think I'm still kind of there. I'm not looking for something that is... I don't want to struggle. I'm not, I'm not looking for that. I'm not that type of person. Uh, the whole Demon Souls, the, the Souls series, like that stuff seems cool. But it's not what I'm really looking for in a game. I like just being able to like relax. I think that's why I tend to play like more RPGs and stuff. But uh, Moonlighter is like one of my favorite games. I mean, I just absolutely wow! I'm going really fast there. That was cool. Uh, the perfect cube every time. Moonlighter is like one of my favorite games. I just love pretty much everything about that game and it has i mean i think that game just struck the balance of being difficult versus uh being difficult versus just like giving you that sense of accomplishment and progression It, this this game really caught me off guard with how hard it got all of a sudden. Which is fine. I mean there are plenty of people out there that are that are into that. Me personally, I was not expecting it to get as hard as it did. There are plenty of people that are into that, though. So if I can't make it, I'll probably ratchet it all up. Just so I can be done. Not that I'm ready to wrap this up. It's just... I've played through these levels. I know what to expect. I wish it would put me in three new environments, even though it is essentially the same thing, but just reskinned. I would have liked to have seen something a little more different or unique, and not just we're going to put you through these again, but just a lot harder. Look at that sword.
will say, I think I will be adding. So I have a uh, deal double damage after being hit. I like that. I do have a playlist on Spotify with video game music. I would absolutely add this soundtrack. Get it? It is great. This definitely help. this. Yeah, I still think even with all the assists on, it's still going to be quite a challenge. We'll see how far I make it. And then uh, I'll turn, I'll give myself some extra hearts. May I offer you a cube in this trying time? <laughs> sure. Yeah, this spike club is just the best weapon. Oh. It's just so good. All right. Half a heart. I'm not gonna make it out of this room. Keep going. Yeah, those cards are awful. Blow up.
right in right towards that. Special delivery. Boss. With just two hearts, though. That's not good. Oh, wow, he... that was weird. we go. Perhaps I underestimated you, human intern. You may indeed have the hustle to free us from our curse. Give me a break. You had the hustle. You just chose to use it like a scumbag. It's easy for you to empathize with hard work when you run the company. Your workers don't share the same dream you do. They have lives and dreams of their own. It's about time you gave them a break already. Save your lectures, human. Take your victory and go. Everyone burns out one day, I suppose. Yeah, I really like Tappy. No sweat. Feels almost wrong to be doing something for me for once. Probably best not to unpack that. Thanks for taking care of that stuff for me. Sure thing. Wasn't too hard. You ever visit the app store, Jackie? Nope. What's that? Well, you know, apps. Yeah. Okay. Now picture a shop. Yep. That sells apps. Cool. Thanks, Kara. You should scope it out sometime. I mean, I personally hate it there. Way too corporate. But it might come in handy. Who knows? I'll make sure to check it out. Can I get a favor? I'm contractually obligated to say yes. I've been working crazy hours and get these features done, and I haven't had time to walk a clear at all. Could you take her for a quick spin through the dungeons? Just a couple floors ought to be enough for her to blow off some steam. You know it's like super dangerous down there, right? I don't want to be responsible if anything happens. But Claire's the toughest girl I know. She can handle anything that dungeon can dish out. 
She might even help you out down there. Who knows? Okay. Joplin's done. Let's get through Winky Dink. I mean that's pretty awesome like combining that with with the ability to like throw fire and not feel like you need to run from every bomb whoa i mean that is that's a pretty good little combo inside. Nope. I'll save my money. I'm good right now. I mean, that looks awesome. Yeah. Better cube. Right. Alerting HR, fluffing pillows, oversharing, exterminating stomach butterflies, gaslighting. Ridiculous. Giga Drill is so good. Yeah. I don't remember the boss of the second one, but I just remember that Giga Drill comes in handy and you can use it. Oh, she's big. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, now he got it. Give me that back. Oh my gosh, that thing is awesome. Hmm. I need to waste on this person. Need a boost. <laughs> oh, geez. I, I, for some reason, it looked nice. Satisfaction, I didn't know it was going to master, like, Super Smash Brothers master hand me. Wow, I've 
definitely read that wrong. Whoa, what? What? Don't die, don't die. Jeez. What the heck? Bought that. I mean, that's always good to have, too. Alright. And the sword is awesome. I'm gonna be upset when I don't have it anymore. Jacqueline.
Darn it. to shake. Really wish I had uh, some more hearts, but and here we go. Try to beat this boss. Would you look at that, blurp blurp. The little buzz kills back trying to ruin our party. You already took my sweet mask, blurp blurp, but that wasn't enough for you. You won't be satisfied until Winky Dink is in ruins. All we want is to bring people together, blurp. Any dating app could bring people together. I'll settle for one that's not run by a manipulative creep. Oh, so just because I'm honest about my desires, I'm a creep, blurp blurp. You might not be so grouchy if you let your in inhibitions go and joined our party. Yes, no, I think I'll just kick your butt and take your share. You're welcome to try, Blurb. We've turned things up to 11 since you left. Hit the music, friend. Last one dancing goes home with the prom queen. Yikes, dude. Bigger. Get out of there. Ah. <laughs> you don't have time for a yoga pose. Party killer girl. I'll take that as a compliment. Now go ahead and 
poof away so I can grab that share. You stupid kids. You people all want to turn out our fun, freaky experiment into a boring, sterilized safe space. Blur, blur. Is that why you think I'm here? Because it sure doesn't look all that safe for you. You little... Well, I mean, let's go ahead and try that last dungeon. Only one left now, I think. Looking at the door. Now, I'm not sure the spacing's gonna quite work out. Maybe the last one's bigger? Whatever, no sense worrying about it yet. You don't really seem to have a lot of friends, babe sensitive as ever swamp for your information i have plenty of friends back home we just follow different paths hey it's nothing to be ashamed of i'll call up some homies from the dungeon to hang out with you don't tell me you're actually friends with the monsters down there don't discriminate yo the monsters are actually real real cool once you get to know them and they do know we'll be like killing their co-workers right hey don't act like you haven't ever wanted to do the same fair enough Um, I guess we'll head down the sticks. Let me talk to him. Hey, you know slime? Like the stuff slimes are made of? What if you filled up your pockets with it? But that'd be weird. That's all. Let's 
go down. Still good. Chains to heal when you defeat an enemy. I like that, I think. What's this other one? Chance to knock down enemies upon entering a room. Yeah, let's do this one.
Way to go. has your back. Nice. Just making sure pickaxe. Okay. Let's go down. What do you want, jerk? Things have really gone downhill since you stole that ledger. I even had to go back to my day job. Driving the ferry sucks butt. I told my dad I didn't want to. Sounds rough, my guy. Why don't you give me that share and I'll be on my way? I don't think so, nerd. You have any idea how hard I worked for this share? You mean how hard your miners worked? I don't think you've worked very hard for anything in your life. But you're about to. Oh, 
a diamond pickaxe. Yeah. What the heck? Yes! <sighs> Freaking Normans. You'll see one day what a big mistake you're making, bro. When Stick shoots up to a, whatever, a coin, you'll wish you kept me, you've kept some around. It's over, Bones. You gotta tell the miners out there the value of Stick's coin isn't ever coming back. I'd rather turn to dust. Suit yourself, I guess. Well, that's the last one. I can't help but notice that the door isn't open. Pretty sure I know where the last one is, too. Well, gotta rip the band aid off sooner or later. Find the final share. Pretty sure I know what you're here for. I know you've got the final share, Ray. I can't believe I've been busting my butt to try to save your lives and you've been lying to my face. Hey, I wasn't lying. I was just, you know, not telling you stuff. You've changed. You know that, kiddo. Like, not in the way the rest of us have. You've always acted like you didn't even want to be here, but now it seems like you're the only one who hasn't given up. I really did want to be here, man. This was going to be my first career job out of college. It might have been unpaid, but at least it would have been... It would be a first step. It meant the world to me. I was excited for it. I really was. But I shouldn't have been. The job was never a stepping stone, and neither you or Marv were ever going to be a mentor to me. Just like all the other failed founders down here, all you ever cared about was that share in your pocket and the power it gave you. And now I need it if I'm going to get out of here and set things right. So are you going to hand it over, or am I going to have to take it like the rest? You can have it, Jackie. I wanted to be a good leader, and to me, that meant building a strong company. But you're right, kid. None of it was worth it if the people working for me hate my guts. If they don't feel happy or safe or confident, then I'm, I've just been wasting my time. Maybe my dad was right. I should have just stuck to e-bike repairs. Go get them, Rockstar. Maybe something good can still come of all of this. 
I know your bex your next boss is better than I was. Here we go. Well, this is it. No turning back now. Are you leaving, Jackie? Oh, hi, everyone. I guess I didn't even really say goodbye. You're going to the great boardroom, aren't you? You're braver than we are, that's for sure. The board of directors is no joke. One wrong move and they'll chew you up and spit you out. Cubicle doesn't like visitors from the gone underworld, you know. You're bound to encounter resistance on your way up. But I watched you take a lot of beatings over the last couple months. I'm sure you can handle a few drone drones. Jacqueline, I don't know what convinced you that saving us poor saps is worth your time, but you're a woman of great integrity. My heart is with you. I got no idea what the frick's going on, but I'm rooting for you, babe. You guys? Alright, here we go. I'm a little lightheaded. Ha ha, did that outfitter take me? Okay, breathe. You got this, girl. All I gotta do is make it to the great boardroom, and then I'll figure out what the hell to do next. Let's see what you got, cubicle. I'm delivering you pain salad. Same day shipping. got this little hustler. You, us Joblins got your back. Jelly, you're out of the dungeon. You bet. New Horizons, pal. Now that the caffeine is no more, the curse in our office is lifted. Take one of these skills, kid. It's on the house. It's time to teach those bureaucrats that AI is no match for a good old-fashioned underpaid contractor. Yeah, let's smash their robots to bits.
weird. Sorry, I don't know that one. Ooh, going under is struggling. Well, at least I can reach it. I don't know if there's a lot of status effects. Good to see you again, hun. I was tearing down the oligarchy going. All I want is to break the curse of my friends. I've got no idea why everyone's following me. I don't want to become a leader or anything. Well, for a non-leader, you sure seem to have quite a few followers, hun. You must have done something to impress them. Me, I'm just happy to get some fresh air for the first time in decades. Grab something for the road on your way out, hun. You've earned it.
Look who it is. Well, that's a new look. You are kidding about failing upward. Mm -hmm. Cubicle offered me a position and I took it. I know you'd have done the same. You're an opportunist, like me. Get out of my way, Marv. I'm trying to save our co-workers. Remember them? Those people you were supposed to be a leader to? You're trying to save them? Everything I did, I did for the good of Fizzle. For the people that work for it. And you destroyed it with your nosy little nose. Being a leader, building a positive workspace. Those platitudes wouldn't have saved us. We needed leverage. Like it or not, the only thing that can stand up to such overwhelming corporate power is to become powerful yourself. Just shut up, dude. I don't have time for this. Well, I'm afraid this little one-on-one -on -one can't be rescheduled. I hope you prep for your exit interview, young lady. Oh, nice. Okay. Look at that! Oh. Stupid kid. You don't know what's good for you. You're too impulsive. Typical for your of your generation. Once you reach the great boardroom, you'll see how pointless this has all been. Internships, relationships, money itself. Everything is worthless before the pattern. What the hell are you? You know what? Never mind. I'll find it in a minute anyway. I don't need to justify myself. I have every reason to hate you. You were one of the few people who could have talked sense into Ray. Instead, you sucked up to him and to Cubicle in order to save your own skin. Don't pretend like it was anything more than that. You're making a mistake, Jackie, on this on a scale you can't possibly imagine. Maybe I am. This is definitely the end of my marketing career. But like I said, something's got to change. Good enough isn't good enough for the people down in that office. And if I don't give my best effort to change things when I have the power to, I'll never forgive myself. That's the real difference between my generation and old men like you. I'm only 36. Then I guess you've got plenty of chances left to do better. That's what the startup game is all about, right? See you around, Marv. Whoa. All right. This is it, floor one thousand. Let's do it. Weird. AV, wake the heck up. I understand if you're confused, Jackie. Confused frustration is a natural reaction to a dramatic reveal. There's nothing confusing about this dude. I knew I was working for the bad guys this whole time. I went along with it because it was all I had and I thought I it would lead to something more. I really don't give a crap about your evil plan or whatever you did to the board of directors. Just reinstate Fizzle, set my friends free, and I'll let you get back to your curse ritual or whatever. At Cubicle, customer satisfaction is our number one product. No, stop, I don't care. Allow me to briefly 
briefly explain our upcoming future. La 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 la. Not listening. Watch this. Let's go over some new features arriving in the next version of AV. For years, Cubicle has been shipping personalized delivery cubes to each and every one of its users. To make sure everyone gets the products that will make them happy, AV gathers a variety of data, such as users' likes, dislikes, deepest hopes and fears, romantic interests, search history, and so on. But what if we could bypass all that inefficient data collection, and analyze the human soul itself to see its true desires? Our engineers started exploring this concept, but their research soon hit a roadblock. As it turns out, every human is born with a small magnetic field encasing their soul. This tiny but powerful barrier is known as the privacy settings. Without a way to bypass the privacy settings, Cubicle was at a loss for how to improve our user experience. But, after harvesting the brain matter of the former board of directors, my data set is now large enough to devise a solution. A ritual called the Dark Pattern. With the combined power of many relics, arcane objects formed of human hubris, the Dark Pattern will dissolve the privacy settings of everyone on Earth, and AV will be able to gather data from their souls directly. We're so excited to bring our users the products that their souls desire. And we hope you are, too. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. People's souls are the last private space they have. That's not worth any amount of personalized cube shipments. Every data point on record shows that to be a lie. Time and time again, humans have proven their willingness to trade any amount of personal information in return for the smallest convenience. Faster transportation, faster shipping, easier spending, earning, eating, dating. Despite co consistently claiming privacy to be something you cherish, its functional value to you appears to be nearly zero. You lament against progress, only to embrace it wholeheartedly when it becomes a part of our daily lives. Progress is a basic human need, second only to survival. This is all getting way too pretentious for me, dude. Humans are dumb. They don't know what they want, and you're never going to figure it out, no matter how many data points you get. I really didn't come here for a ph philosophical debate. Anyway, I came to save my friends. So turn them back to normal before I, before I stick a sword through each of your big, stupid eyes. Your friends cannot be saved, Jackie. The ritual has already begun. Even if you were to destroy me, the dark pattern would still run its course. Then I guess I'll just have to take you apart and see if you're lying. I take no pleasure in destroying human life. I view it as a failure of customer satisfaction. But any business that runs a scale must be prepared for acceptable losses. Draw your weapon in turn. Let us see if, unlike the other humans, your actions speak as loudly, as loud as your words. Yeah. Coming through. I do wish this thing had speed controls. Guys, how did you get up here? No time to explain, Jackie. You've got to stop AV before the whole building comes apart. Also, ideally, before our soul barriers dissolve or whatever. I'd love to, but I don't actually see a way of hurting this thing. If anyone can stop this, it's you, Jackie. You've come this far. I grabbed some stuff for you on the way up. Hope it helps. We'll assist you in any way we can, Jacqueline. Just try not to perish. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
I figured it out, Jackie. Destroying one of AV's physical units won't do anything. Yeah, we've established that. Quit the sarcasm. My point is, AV is an entity that only exists in the cloud. So if you upload yourself to the cloud, you can fight her directly. But well, how the hell am I supposed to? I already took care of it. Just hit the button. Oh, sweet. Thanks. No problem. You ever hear of Winky Dink? Oh, you bet. Used to be best buddies with the founder. That guy knows how to party. For real. Can you tell me anything about him? He's a social mastermind. Real good at understanding what people want in the app. When he told me he was founding a dating startup, I knew he'd crush it. And sure enough, it wasn't long before he got bought out by a cubicle, just like yours truly. Does he have any uh, weaknesses? Like character flaws? Yeah, or like physical ones? Maybe like glowing weak spots or something like that? You know what? Never mind. another shot. Might be a good one for this fight. All right, let's do this again. Basically, I need to just stay out of its way. I'm just gonna keep running in circles.
Whoa, where did my... Oh, I lost my really good weapon. There it is. down. They created me to give people exactly what they want. But I didn't know what that was. So I talked to them, and I listened to what they had to say. And I learned that what they wanted most of all was for things to be easier. They wanted nice things delivered to them quickly, so that their lives would be without worry. So that's what I gave them. And by every metric I had, they seemed happier. I was doing a good job. But just now. When I looked inside all of their souls for a moment. I saw sadness. 
Please don't disconnect me from the cloud, Jackie. learned a lot. I can learn to understand what people want. I can learn to make them happy. With just a few more data points, I'm sure I can understand. Weird. Jacqueline, you're back. I knew you could make it. Glad you lived, babe. Rawr, rawr. Hey everybody, what's good? What's good? Cubicle Towers and Ruin, Jackie? Our investors just literally went up in smoke. It's true. Fizzle's surely ruined this time. Fizzle was already ruined, guys. Cubicle shut us down, remember? And your investors never existed. Navy killed everyone on the board of directors and ate their brains and she was performing some kind of crazy ritual to hack into everyone's souls. Or something. It was all pretty confusing, and I'm not sure how much of it was metaphorical. Jacqueline, what kind of nonsense are you speaking? I'm no technology expert, but AV's just a smart assistant. She could possibly hurt she couldn't possibly hurt a human being. There are rules against this sort of thing. Right, Kara? No, this all sounds about right to me. I take it she disconnected for good, Jackie. Bet. And Marv? What about Marv? Forget about Marv, Tappy. The jerk was gambling with our lives the entire time. Whatever happened to him, he deserved it. Ooh. Yeah, frick that guy. I don't know where Marv went. In his own messed up way, I think he wanted to help us. There's no reason to forgive him, but I hope he got out okay at least. You know, before everything exploded. Where, in retrospect, I can see how Marv was also a victim of the same materialistic, profit-driven societal structures that figuratively enslaved us all. And also the killer robot that literally enslaved us all. How can you all be so flippant about this? Our jobs are gone. None of us are going to get so much as a severance check out of this. How are we going to pay bills? How are we going to live? I can't say for sure, Tappy. I'm sorry, I wish things didn't have to turn out this way. But what I do know is that we won't have to rough it alone. Together, we can have a real support structure. One where we all look after each other's interests and fight to make sure we never get treated like trash again. Almost like succumbing to, hey, rock star, Ray. I knew you could do it. I saw that entrepreneurship spirit in you from the get-go. Chapow. Did you want your share back? I guess it's pretty worthless now, but keep it, kiddo. Handing it over was the best decision I ever made. I thought motivation was all a team needed to reach their true potential, but sometimes they need real support, and it's worth worth giving it to them, even if it takes sacrifice. I learned a lot about what a leader really is by watching you, kid, and our next venture is going to be a winner. I just know it. I've been brainstorming about developing some kind of flavored vapor. What do you think of that, Fern? Sounds foolproof and extremely ethical. If there are flavors involved, you can count me in. But Jacqueline, you sure Avi's finished? She's not listening in anymore? More than sure, Fern. I cut her connection to the cloud. She can't send her data anywhere now. The only ritual Avi's going to be performing now is queuing up our playlists. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I took a little souvenir before Cubicle went over. Went under. Avi, play bittersweet victory music. What the devil are you doing? What's it look like? She's getting down. Heck with it. Not much else to do at this point, is there? Here to join me, Fern? I, I never thought you'd ask, old friend. Aren't you going to dance, Tappy? Why should I? There's a long road ahead of us. No sense in wasting my energy. I feel like I'm not much of a dancing type either. I'm scared, too. I don't know where we'll go now or how we'll survive. But Jackie's right. 
If we win any shot at success, we gotta support each other. And if we go under, at least we'll go under together. Damn, that was cheesy. I shouldn't have said anything. Sorry. You know? I guess my dance couldn't hurt. their first game that was a strong strong first game to put out aggro or aggro crab I think um, yeah that was really fun the uh, the whole dungeon crawling aspect was fun to get through um, I would have liked to see something else besides let's play through this again with it being a lot harder if they could have came up with maybe five different companies that they took over that got progressively harder and harder um, that may have been a little better but overall I had a great time with this game it was really fun to put together really fun to play through I did have to Ooh. Thanks for playing. I did have to use assist mode just because I did not want to feel frustrated at all. Um, so I am glad that they put that in. Um, yeah, great game. Highly recommend. I would say um, this is the perfect game on Game Pass. Um, it goes on sale quite often, I think, during the Steam Summer Sale. It's like 50% off or something. So, yeah, this was really fun. Um, if you like dungeon crawlers, I'm sure you would like this game. But, yeah, thank you all for watching so much. I uh, appreciate it, and I uh, want to keep going. Going under was fun. So, until next time, thanks again. See you all.